Barbie shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Aquarius, the recent past energy between you and your person. Two of Pentacles ends with a fool. Now two of Pentacles can be about two main issues at front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. When you get the Two of Pentacles, multitasking is not your friend. So you may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities. It could be that your financial situation needs to be more balanced. So you want to be sure that you're paying attention there. Now it's with the Fool card, which is always an indicator of newness in one form or another. Now in many ways, it indicates the purity, the open-hearted energy, and the innocence of a child. We all know that children, their trusting and trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. So, just know that this is considered a positive card in the tarot. But it's important to be sure that you're looking where you're going. As you can see by the picture of the Fool card, he's not looking where he's going. So, trusting yourself to take a step into, into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it could be a big mistake. Yeah, because what's surrounding him below, that's all blue water. So, could be the Pacific or Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, this person is ready to take a leap of faith, but he's not watching where he's going. And, yeah, it's about to take a, a big fall, but it's a, it's a positive card in the, in the deck. But I guess this is the, the, um, this is how they depicted the full card, just to be careful where you're going. It's kind of, it's funny and cute, actually. But, uh, anyway, the recent past energy between you and your person Two of Pentacles clarified by the Fool. Now, Aquarius, the message that I'm getting is that you could have been dealing with someone that was was um, just doing too much. Back and forth, here and there. For some of you, your person, they live long distance. So it was a difficult... It was a difficult uh, connection. Um, also, hard for the two of you to come together often. Um, but for a lot of you, your person was just doing too much. Um, and it made you feel like this person was having... Or fi having trouble finding time and energy for for you, for the connection. And you were ready to jump right on in there. You were ready to take a leap of faith towards this person. Uh, this was someone that you could have wanted a new beginning with. But it, it, this person made you feel like... Um, you were not on their priority list. Because for some reason, they were just always busy. You might have started to think that this person was a two-timer or a player or a juggler. Yeah, you could have started to think a whole bunch of things about this person because it felt like they didn't put you on the priority list. And like I said, for some of you, this person was uh, living long distance. And uh, the effort, time, and energy was not put in to the connection to come together. And it just seemed like they were just too busy for you. 
but you, you, you really like this person, and you wanted something anew with this person, you wanted to get something started, and you were ready, like I said, you were like the full card, you were ready to jump right on in there, but you got a different impression from this person, eventually, I don't know if it started out that way, or eventually you start to, started to feel this way, but let's move on over, let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got this Ace of Pentacles, and it's with the Four of Swords. Now, the Ace of Pentacles, with this one, you're likely to find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels. And these are very positive new beginnings, so you're likely to be feeling optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things could be going really well. You could be starting something new very soon. So this could be in the area of work or personally, but either way, it's a really, really good thing to say it's a pentacles. Yeah. But with the Four of Swords, now, this card can signify a need for a break. Could be from normal life, maybe people or a person in particular. This can also mean that you or someone in your life may withdraw for a time. Keep in mind, the withdrawal is not likely to be permanent. It, um, it's a signifier to actually give people their space. So you could be needing some space and time to yourself. Maybe others are pushing too hard for bits and time for your attention. But don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, you want to take them at their word, because if you push in the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. Yeah, this Four of Swords, um, it's about rest, needing rest after some type of struggle. So yeah, coming up, Aquarius, Ace of Pentacles clarified by this Four of Swords. I don't know if you and your person had a fallout or or you and your person are you're about to have some type of fallout or disagreement because like I said the four source is about rest after struggle maybe you're, you're gonna start to realize that the connection is just too much of a struggle for you yeah it's just not coming together easy your person is just feels like they're just not putting you on the priority list when you feel that it's not going in the direction that um, you you were hoping that this connection would go. Now, the Ace of Pentacles is showing that um, you're going to go for a new beginning. Um, yeah, in a different direction. Because you realize that you, it's a new, it's a new day. It's a new year. And it's time to come out and just this struggle with this connection. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles, like I said, can be about several. It can be about new beginnings on several levels. So you might be trying to figure out which direction to take your life now. Because, like I said, you realize that this connection with this person is way too challenging and you've probably been the only one trying to pull it together so you're going for some new beginnings and it looks like the new beginnings are there for you with the ace of pentacles yes i like the ace of pentacles uh actually the picture is really um it, it says it all if you look at it it's the card above the word present you see this squirrel, he's, he's standing near a huge pinnacle. Now when you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that can mean money, cash, coins, finance, income. Uh, the pinnacle is sitting in the forest or maybe a park with a bunch of trees, a bunch of greenery. It looks like it actually rained for a day or two days or three days non-stop and then the rain finally stopped 
Yeah, no more rain. So the squirrel, he finally gets a chance to come out of hiding from the rain. And he's amazed. He's like, wow, finally the rain has stopped. He can't find his footprints or his paw prints anywhere. So he's excited, very excited about the new beginnings, the new path, the new journey he's able to take now because he don't see his, he can't find his tracks anywhere. So he's trying to figure out, should I run up the pinnacle and make some new fresh paw prints? So should I run to the right and make some new fresh footprints? Or should I run to the left or just straight forward right into the camera? He realizes it's a new day. Yeah. It's time for new beginnings. So this is how you, you're going to be feeling if you're not feeling this way already. You probably just need a break. And then your, your mind will bring about so much clarity. Yeah, you've been dealing with someone who is not putting you on the priority list. And it feels too way too challenging. Because it looks like you really wanted a new beginning with this person. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We have the Queen of Wands and it's with the Wheel of Fortune. Now, this Queen of Wands can refer to a woman. She could have a lot of fire type of energy. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, what it's not referring to an actual person, it can stand for getting a lot accomplished. Often a focus on work, career, or family romance. The queen is actually very positive, uplifting energy. So when she stands for a person in her life, she's a really good friend who is solidly on your side. Even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. And just know if you're trying to conceive and you get the queen of wands in a reading this is one of the most positive signs that there can be. Now, it's with the Will of Fortune. The Will of Fortune is actually a card that reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times, whether it's bad times, it passes. If all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world, well, keep your, keep your perspective. As that too, like everything else, it changes. You have to live in the now and count your blessings. But just realize that much of life, much of life is really outside of our control, but even that's okay. Roll with the changes and think positive. So your challenge, Aquarius. Queen of Wands clarified by this Will of Fortune. Yeah, so the message that I'm getting is that Yeah, well this is this is actually great. You you're starting to feel, after you get this break or you take a, some rest or maybe you, some type of rest you took and it's, it's really being helpful. Yeah, you withdrew because the Four of Swords is about withdrawing. It looked like you, st you took a step back from this person, this connection. And like I said, it, it's, bring, it's bringing you all kinds of thoughts for wonderful possibilities and because the will of fortune is here it's showing that you're starting to feel lucky or you realize that you're actually really lucky and blessed because the will of fortune is about uh, fortune being in your favor um, a lucky streak being lucky, feeling lucky. So you're very, very confident about your path now. You, you feel like you have some clarity. And, um, yeah, you feel for some reason you're going to start to feel really lucky. Maybe even inspired. Yeah, you've, you've gotten some inner light and clarity by taking this time alone because the queen of wands can be about 
being determined, egotistical, knowing her worth, and used to getting what she wants. Very confident type of energy, this Queen of Wands. So this is how you're going to start to feel. And you're just, you're just realizing that you're worth much more than what your person is offering you. Yeah, you're going to start to feel more confident. And with the Wheel of Fortune here, you realize that, that um, you deserve much better. And you're feeling lucky, like luck is on your side. Yeah, so you're holding your head up high. And it looks like you could be moving on. Because you, you just realize that you, you're worth much more. Yeah, you know your worth, and yeah, maybe some great things are starting, will be starting to happen, because the Wheel of Fortune is a, is a lucky streak. Yeah, you're on a lucky streak, so you might want to take advantage of it. If you haven't come up with some things to do or making some plans, you might want to start, start to do this. Yeah, so this is actually good. You're realizing your worth, and... You know that there's much more, there's, there's better things out there for you. Yeah, so I like that. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's the outcome. Okay, so we got the Ten of Cups and it's with the Two of Cups. Now the Ten of Cups is actually one of the most uplifting cards. You can get in the reading. It points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. It speaks of a happy family life, even if you're single, to the overall well-being that goes beyond you yourself to include those that you're most concerned about, your parents, siblings, children, your pets, and much more. You could also be spiritually fulfilled when you get this card in a reading. Now, it's with the Two of Cups, which often refers to a romantic partnership. But that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This card, it says that things are likely to be going well. You should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. So your outcome, Ten of Cups clarified by Two of Cups. Wow, that's a lot of love for your outcome, Aquarius. I don't know if you're going towards someone or or you've, you're, you're about to meet someone. Not just someone. You're about to meet your Two of Cups. Two of Cups is beautiful. It's the ideal partner. It's a harmony. It's a union. It's a deep connection. So this person, someone like this could be coming towards you or maybe you already know someone. And it's going to feel great. The Two of Cups is, is beautiful. It's a true love. It's, it's a balanced partnership. It's commitment. It's all the things that we all hope for when it comes to love and relationships. So, yeah, that's, that's coming your way. Or, like I said, maybe you're already going towards someone like this. And it's going to feel like, the, like your ideal person has, has come, finally come in. And it's going to feel like a dream come true because that's what the Ten of Cups is. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is a dream come true. One of the most uplifting cards in a reading. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. And Aquarius, you got it. There's a lot of love for your outcome. I would not be surprised if you haven't met someone that you feel is perfect for you. I wouldn't be surprised if, if you did really, really soon. So that is your reading, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? 
There's also a link below of the extended of this reading where, yeah, I'll go over, I think I already said that, how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. Yeah, I just repeated myself, but anyways, okay, what I was trying to say is, there's also a link below for personal reads, if you would like to try one of those. Here we go. So, Aquarius, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, if you're not dealing with any ro anyone romantically, the other person in the reading could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or, or a situation. And if you, are, whoever you're dealing with, um, just know that the roles can be switched. They can be reversed. You could be them, or they could be you. So take the reading for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Aquarius, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all had a wonderful holiday. I am wishing all of you a happy new year, happy 2021. I'm wishing the very best for you. And um, I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.